The Quran is a book that is bound up in the life of the Prophet. It is, uh, in, in, in fact, impossible to read without his life and his sunnah, his precedent, before our eyes. And this is something that Muslim scholars understood very early on in Islam. And they were, um, you know, I'm often stunned by their acuity and their intelligence, their wisdom. When early Muslim scholars like Ayyub al-Sakhtiyani said, Al-Kitab ahwaju ila sunnah min sunnah il kitab The Book of God needs the sunnah more than the sunnah needs the Book of God. Or as Yahya bin Abi Kathir and a Zuhri, early Muslim scholars, also said that the Sunnah came to govern the Quran. The Quran didn't come to govern the Sunnah. What do they mean by that? They mean that you have to understand the Quran through the Sunnah. The Quran tells you to pray. It doesn't tell you how to pray. It doesn't tell you when to pray. It doesn't tell you how many times to pray. The Prophet's teachings tell us how to pray, when to pray. The Quran tells you uh, that uh, blood and carrion, dead animals, are prohibited for you. The, Quran, the, the, the Sunnah of the Prophet tells us that this doesn't apply to things that we find in the ocean. That even dead whales washed up on the seashore can be eaten from, like the companions of the Prophet did, and to, uh, an act of which he approved. So these, the, the Sunnah is it explains the Qur'an, it adds to the Qur'an, it affirms the Qur'an. It is, as one of my, my teachers in Azhar uh, said, it is tatbiqun ma'asumun li kitabillah. It is an infallible application of the Book of God. The Sunnah is the infallible application of the Book of God. And Bara, the lawyer, and maybe some other lawyers here who can tell you, it's, this is not just something, this is a, an understanding that Muslims had that's shared, that it applies to really any, any time somebody gives you directions or writes a law for you. The law has to be explained, it has to be understood. When, for example, James Madison, uh, uh, the prime writer of the Constitution, he said, the Constitution of the United States, said, these laws, they cannot, be applied. They don't really come into existence until they are debated, until they are discussed, until they actually have to be applied. Laws as, a, as on, on the books, laws are not, as an idea, laws as mere statements, words on paper, they don't mean anything until people actually try and apply them. Then they need guidance. Then they need to, be, to have these laws explained to them. That's precisely what the, the Sunnah of the Prophet does, alayhi salam.